Okay, so I drained the oil real quick. There wasn't even that much in it, so they might have already drained that out. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the stuff off the top here. Now this is gonna be a little bit more tedious, uh, but this thing should come right apart. And we're gonna try to recover, you know, some number two copper, brass parts, you know, uh, some of these sensors got brass on them. Um, you know, but it looks like a cast block. We'll get some aluminum pistons, hopefully. My little collection of keepers. Doesn't even matter if it's in the same step. If you got a certain size socket, you just run that thing until there's no more to run. That way you're not coming back later. Okay. Looking good. Let's see what we got here. Wow, that's a man, that's crazy. Sure that thing still puts off juice even though I cut them wires. What else we got here? Let's see. Is it just stuck in there? Really? Probably don't even need to do it in this. Wow. Now this stuff here is kind of tedious, but Usually, I don't know about this one. Usually, that stuff is brass. Okay, nice little brass fit in there. Okay, what's next? I think I actually need one of these for my crane. Huh. See? Cover all your shit. Okay, it's a mini hose clamp. <clears throat> All right. Nice little chunk of brass. These probably don't even need to come off. I mean, you gotta realize you're loud. Get that stud out of there. You're loud like 3% in cast. So if you don't get every single piece out, it really don't matter. Look at that. You can even get that brass butterfly out of there. Pull that out. That's coming right out. 
Yeah, this is where the tedious shit comes in. Now, we really don't even need to take these off, I don't think. Probably gonna make everything a lot nicer though. And this is the kind of shit right here, you're about to see, that'll piss you off. Oh, look at that. You got these on the top. You got these dumb Allen screws on the bottom. Oh. Alright, here's that. Now the problem is going to be these things are going to be so rusted. There we go. bad went the right way nice all kinds of electronic sensors driving around in a shit box. All right. See? It's all number 2 copper. Plastic. Whoo, look at them big old ants. Ooh, dag. Ooh, they're not happy. Those are some mean looking fuckers. Alright, well, let's try not to get bit. Ooh, they're getting pissed. I don't know, these guys look like they're gonna hurt. Get away from me, fuckers. Oh, these ants don't give a fuck. They just dropping. Kamikaze ants. These dudes look serious too. Make sure none of these fuckers are crawling on me. Y'all go disperse and do your thing, man. Leave me alone. You get near me, I'm gonna step on you, dude. Sorry, I'm killing ants. All right. Because I did this to mine. It's amazing how these ants pulled in all that dirt somehow. All right. <laughs> Damn, 
stamped and came out like butter. That's a nice little pulley. Man, I'm afraid these ants are going to drop down into my shoe and bite me. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Wow, that was crazy. That was under tension. So much rust in there you can't even see. Huh. Damn, that was on the inside of the timing chain or timing belt cover. And those ants pulled in all that dirt. See? This here could have been a Mother Nature defect. Oh, oh, shit. Man, that's a heavy chunk of steel. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. That's the problem with impact sockets. They're too thick. Now, where were we? All right. Okay. to do this. Okay. Almost as if there's another bolt somewhere holding that on. Screwdriver is not a pry bar, but sometimes it'll do what you need it to do. Hmm. There you go. That's probably this. Okay, that might have pins. I might have to lower the pan to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the exhaust. Let's see if we can get all this crap off. Of course, there's gonna be some toughies under there. Came out. 
Okay. Now, always some bullshit up underneath. You know, you would think they would have came out with a better way. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, we need to go up. Shit. Snap. Whoa. Oh, oh, there it is. See? A little, uh... See if we can't get that out of there. No, I don't want to come out. Back to 13 now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Just had to beat that half inch on there. Oh, it's coming right off now. Yeah, it definitely would have been easier with a little lube. And some prepared steel. Okay. Prepared. And we got some cast. Nice little shaft. Got some springs on that one. Nice little springs, huh? Okay. Now, for this next part, I'm gonna have to put some glasses on. Okay, if you don't have a valve spring remover, you could just use a socket and a hammer. Basically just pops them right out. And there you go. Let's see what we got. Nice, nice springs. Okay. Wow, look at that camshaft is down in there. Yeah, that can be prepared. I got buckets of springs. So. That's that. Huh. So it looks like that camshaft actually it just slides in there. Are they using the aluminum as a as a bearing? That's interesting. Okay. Old distributor. Wow. Okay. Garbage. Whole bunch of sh shit. Uh oh.
Probably a little coil of copper in there. It's magnetic for sure. See brass. Oh, we already stripped that one right out. Well, it's one of those deals where you only got one shot. Or two if you got a flathead. Oh, did I screw that one up too? <laughs> Oh yeah, this all got messed up, man. Okay. Oh, this is. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. thing's got all kinds of weights and shit in it and I just dropped all them screws in there and it won't turn anymore I probably could have just unscrewed these where's that thing at oh the whole thing's coming uh-oh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nice. Yeah. So they're just using the aluminum. The machined aluminum. They just bored that straight in there. And there you go. Machine fit. Prepared steel. Two intakes and an exhaust. Dang, look at all that carbon up there. All right, come on, buddy. That cylinder looked like it was running hot. Oh, we got a stuck valve. Ah. Uh. Dag, that one was gunked up. Look at that garbage. That's crazy. I never seen that much crap in a Something must have been wrong with this engine. Usually these Usually these things are pretty well. Oh, well, there's your problem. You got lizards living in your, in your damn. Wow. It's amazing they found their way in there. And you know what's crazy? They must have came in through the exhaust. Yeah. They came right up through the exhaust. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull all this front shit off. Actually, I don't even think we need to. Well, I guess we're going to get this aluminum. Because at this point, other than that, it's really not much to take off. You got a steel crank, probably steel connecting rods, and aluminum pistons. 
So we're going to go through all this just to get those aluminum pistons. Okay. Paired steel. I like that. Be a keeper. Okay. And that actually should oh 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 we missed one. Now this thing should be free and probably fall over. Right. That's a nice piece of prepared heavy steel. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Prepared. Hmm. Looks like they're using aluminum. Someone wants to drain. Where were you? Drain the block. Keep going. Come on. Okay. Really don't like getting oil and such everywhere. Or anything for that matter. Now this here is gonna be an issue. Go ahead and take that out if it'll come out. It's actually pretty nice. If it wasn't for the fact that it broke right there. It's a nice I will probably keep that for sure, that brass. And uh, we're going to go back to our 10 millimeter. And this is the part I hate. This is why I'm no longer a mechanic. I hate oil. Boy, that one there has some sludge. Oh, damn. Antifreeze is one thing, but oil stains, they stain. You don't want to get oil in your concrete. Oh, look at that. Man, looks like they might have never changed the oil in this thing. Whoops, I gotta stop dropping shit in that water. There we go. Oh, okay. Now you want to come off. Of 
prepared. Here's a hold up. steel oh did the rings come out no way oh we might have just got super screwed yep there we go okay the battery died but we knocked the pistons right out of there and man they are caked with carbon mm. so what we're gonna do is uh drive out that wrist pin and pull these off this should come right off here that wrist pin out Ooh. she don't want to go that way much better much better just so we don't smash our fingers there we go uh oh haha oh Prepared steel. Almost felt like aluminum for a second. All right. Oh, piston down. Well, there you have it. Um, there's a little bit left to do couple and you know i'd get into that maybe i might open that up just to see what's in there um this stuff here i'll clean this up a little bit um you know a little bit of brass i think there's just a rubber diaphragm in there probably not even worth taking it open pull that off there there's a little bit of number two copper there'll be more number two copper in here and some brass big old brass plate here um that's pretty much it the uh alternator that might be a generator that's got a serious magnet on it um the alternator and the starter will go with the uh stator and then uh, i'll pull a little bit of brass off of here clean the metal off of this and uh, that'll be good to go 
Okay, I, I stopped for a second there and uh, cleaned up all the oil and all the uh, <clears throat> nuts and bolts that were on the ground. It's pretty much what we got. Aluminum, a little bit of sheet, more sheet. There's a couple little pieces of heavy steel in there. Prepared steel, a little bit of garbage. Number two copper, I'm actually going to uh, upgrade this a little bit. But this is the stuff I'm going to upgrade just a little bit more. Uh, this stuff here, I'm actually going to, well, not this. That's going to go as prepared. This I'm keeping. Uh, this is all going to go together. Over there, that's prepared. That'll go too with another battery I got. And I'm going to keep that. So uh, right now I'm just going to upgrade the last little bit of this stuff. I'm going to pull that brass off of there. I'm trying to get as much of this broke down as possible to get a good idea of what you can actually get out of here if you take your time and break it all the way down. Um, that's sheet. Uh, okay, so let's just uh, let's start with this bucket. Let's see what we got. Okay, whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna keep that hardware. Okay, I want to keep, I want to keep that. Already cracked, so we're gonna get up under there. <clears throat> Try to cut that off. Get a screwdriver. There we go. Ah, look at all that oil again. Yep, the contact switch It'll be a piece of uh, silver in there. Set that aside. That. that came off easy enough. Now. That's probably copper there too. I'll save these, I got a pile of these. I'm gonna hammer them all one day and run them through. Oh, I got a little transformer. There we go. And that is a cutter for sure. Okay, cutter flies out of there. So don't want to come off that easy. I'll show it some love. Nice big old chunk of brass. Get this out of there. Bunch of nothing. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, there you go. Brass is adding up. Unfortunately, there's two pieces of brass down in there we're not going to be able to get. But, that's 
say that's clean enough. Oh yeah. And then uh, throw that over there. Now that absolutely, that's micro scrap in there. Can recover some number two out of this. That's it. Ah, there you go. Bang. Look at all that copper. Wow. That's actually a nice, heavy little nugget of copper in there, man. Todd, this. Oh yeah, look at that, micro scrapping. Let's see, pretty sure there's a nice little coil under here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> wow, what was that? Oh wow, that's weird. The bottom half of this is stainless. Nice, that's actually a heavy little chunk of brass there. This is basically gonna have the same thing. As the other one. There we go. Just kind of expose the back end of that. There we go. Now, probably just knock that right out of there. See that? Nice. Bam, there you go. See, if you don't have one of these hammers and you're breaking down transformers, I'm telling you, you're slacking. Look at that. Nice little chunk of number two. And we're turning on the inside. Okay. Let's get this thing open. See what's happening on the inside. Throw that in with the ballast. I guess those little screws were all the way through, but they broke off. This little chunk of extruded. Doesn't look like it's worth much. All right, I'm about done with this.
nice it's almost bright and shiny status there nice garbage what else we got Yeah, that's definitely number two there. <clears throat> Garbage. Nice little chunk of number two copper. I got another one. <clears throat> Yeah, that one there. Dang, that one too. That there. Ah, oh, the sun that is bright and shiny in this. <laughs> so that with the sheet steel. Oh, look at that. Big old chunk. Like extrusion. Hmm. All right, there we go. I'm gonna get all this weighed up and uh, see what it was worth. Okay, we're gonna start with my least favorite stuff. Well, maybe second least favorite. This is my least favorite, the garbage. Uh, the sheet steel, we got 108 pounds. Okay, now on to the least favorite stuff, the garbage and the fluids. We got 30 pounds. Okay, this is the heavy steel. Now, the stuff in this bucket here, a uh, little bit of hardware I'm going to keep. We have 190 pounds. And I'm just going to uh, zero that because I have more sheet metal. I forgot. 19 pounds. And we got 12 pounds on the copper brass radiator we got five pounds of number two insulated wire okay i got the little mini crane scale set up tear the little bucket and we'll weigh our micro scrap it's all the brass Point three pounds. Nice. Extruded aluminum. One point six pounds. Number two copper. Not much, but it always counts. Point nine nine pounds. And a little bit of bright and shiny. Dag, 0.99. <laughs> 24 pounds of battery. Staters and that little tiny copper transformer, 146 pounds. 
Okay, so this is the ticket um, from that job. Now, this is obviously a lot more than just that generator, but these are the numbers we got. And uh, here are the numbers on that generator. So overall, we had... So overall, we had 588 pounds total. We had 30 pounds of trash, 127 pounds of sheet steel at 10 cents a pound, which was $12.70, 190 pounds of heavy steel at 10 and a half cents a pound, which was 19.95, uh, extruded aluminum 1.6 pounds at a dollar a pound, $1.60. Uh, number two, insulated, five pounds, $1.05 a pound. Uh, $5.25. Number two copper, nine, a point ninety nine point nine nine pounds at $3.42, 338 Number one bright and shiny, point nine nine pounds at $3.71. Uh, $3 uh, large auto batteries, uh, 24 pounds, uh, 20 cents a pound, $4.80 a pound. Uh, staters or starters and transformers, whatever, uh, 146 pounds. Now, I usually don't sell this stuff, so I really don't even know the price. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be around 35 cents a pound, plus or minus like 5%, you know. Um, that's pretty much what I pay for copper transformers right now. So that's what we'll say. We got 5110 uh, sheet aluminum. That was the case. I didn't actually weigh that on video, but I'm pretty sure it was like either 50 or 52 pounds or something like that it was r right around there uh at 50 cents a pound so we got 25 dollars brass one uh 1.3 pounds at 230 a pound uh 3.6 for a total of 131 and uh, nine cents now it took me i i did that over a course of like two days or whatnot and um if i would have sat there and been on that in one shot I could have probably knocked that out easily in under two hours. And um, I actually could have also recovered more copper, number two copper from that transformer and those staters, but they went into my stator pile, which I'll show you here in a second, which is actually getting quite large. I've just been saving this stuff up here, electric motors, giant staters. Uh, that's a big old stator down there. Some more big ones, just, just tons and tons of copper that I've been saving up over here for the stator wrecking machine, you know? And look at this, this is all the stuff I sweep up off the floor. There's tons of copper in here. I'm gonna run all this copper through my granulator and um, separate that. Got some big old contacts and number two copper. Look at that, big old silver contacts on there. Oh, and uh, so that actually came out to about 22 cents a pound. So if you were gonna buy those things, you know, you definitely wanna pay the lowest whatever's in there, sheet steel. So you pay 10 cents a pound, you can double your money. Now, you know, it's only $131, and if you really cracked at it, you can knock that out in about two hours. Okay, so I just did some quick math. So if you had to pay for them, you know, and you and you got them for ten cents a pound, uh, five eighty eight. You'd be paying fifty eight eighty for it, and then you uh, deduct what all that stuff was worth. You're left with seventy two twenty nine. Divide that by two, because I figured you can knock that whole deal out in about two hours if you just stay on it and you're efficient. And I believe it can be done in about an hour. Um, but let's just say it took two hours. Uh, you can make about thirty six dollars an hour doing that. And, uh, you know, or if you get it for free, you know, you're, uh, you're pretty much all profit. So it depends on, uh, you know, how you acquire the stuff. So if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I got some other stuff coming up. I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. Uh, there's a lot going on in my life and, uh, shit's been crazy, but, uh, I've been filming. I got a lot of videos on the computer here. I just need to edit them and I, I just don't have time to edit the stuff so uh, there'll be more videos coming here shortly.
we'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Mm-hmm. <laughs>